I'm John D. Clark, attorney at law, also known as The Professor, and this is J. Clark Law, The Channel. On this channel, I discuss interesting legal issues and answer your legal questions. Today, I want to discuss a very interesting and tragic medical malpractice case that's pending right now in uh, Columbia, South Carolina against Prisma Health Richland. According to the state newspaper, um, this case involves a young lady, a 34-year-old lady. Her name is Jody Roberts. She's from Lexington County. She checked into Prisma Health Richland to have a baby, and something went terribly wrong. After she delivered the baby, she was nearly brain dead and uh, has some serious complications from it. So that's the case I want to discuss this morning. Like I said, Jody Roberts is a 34-year-old Lexington County woman. Back in July of this year, she checked into Prisma Health Richland to deliver a baby. She eventually had a C-section, but like I said, something went terribly wrong. After surgery, she was nearly brain dead. She lost uh, approximately 86 to 95% of her brain activity. She can't walk. She can't talk. She can't feed herself. She has a colostomy bag. She doesn't even recognize her own kids and requires round-the-clock care. Her uncle and his girlfriend are taking care of her, um, and it's a really tragic situation. Well, her family has filed a lawsuit against Prisma Health Richland, alleging that the hospital and their doctors were negligent and that their negligence caused her injury. And if they can prove that Prisma Health Richland was negligent, then the damages they're seeking could be astronomical if this lady needs round-the-clock care for the rest of her life. So let me tell you what's going on. She was a high-risk pregnancy. I believe she, was, uh, she suffered from diabetes. She was overweight. So she was a high-risk pregnancy from the beginning. Um, but the family alleges that uh, Jody Roberts had what they call preeclampsia, and I'll explain that in a little while, and the hospital and their doctors failed to recognize it and treat it adequately and in a timely manner. Um, what happened was she checked herself into the hospital just days before she was expected to deliver this baby, and, one, and when she checked in, she was walking, talking, she was fine. Then one day, one of her relatives went to visit her, and when she saw Jody, she knew immediately, the relative knew immediately that something was terribly wrong. Uh, she looked uh, bad, uh, and, and it, it, the relative could just tell that something wasn't right with her. So the relative uh, notified the staff over and over and over again and pleaded with them to do something. Um, Ms. Roberts' blood pressure had risen to 200 over 150, and um, apparently, to treat this type of uh, condition, um, what the hospital should have done is immediately uh, delivered the baby by C-section and given, treated her with magnesium. However, the lawsuit alleges that instead of doing that in a timely manner, the hospital waited 42 hours after being notified that this lady was having some real complications. They waited 42 hours. They eventually delivered the baby by C-section. But at that point, the lawsuit alleges that it was too late. Um, Ms. Uh, Roberts, as I said, is now brain dead, can't eat, can't walk, can't talk, uh, requires round-the-clock care. In fact, her families have had to quit their jobs to take care of her. Um, Fortunately, she delivered a healthy uh, baby boy. At first, the, the child had to go in the ICU, but now I understand the child is okay. Uh, Ms. Roberts had a 17-year-old son already, um, and um, it's just a tragic, tragic situation. Apparently, preeclampsia is a, a condition that affects 1 in 25 women. It's more prevalent, and this is... Uh, not surprising in African-American women. It is uh, treatable, um, and as the family alleges in this lawsuit, it should have been uh, treated earlier than it was uh, if the hospital had gone ahead and uh, delivered the baby by C-section and provided this lady some form of magnesium 
that she needed. So this is a tragic, tragic state uh, uh, case pending right in our backyard. The family is just devastated by this. Her 17-year-old son has suffered psychological problems and required counseling because of what has happened to his mother. Uh, neighbors and family have had to adopt the children and take care of them. Miss Roberts is, is just uh, a, a, in a vegetative state and unable to care for her, 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 herself. So we'll keep an eye on this case. Um, Richland Prisma Health declined to comment on the case, saying that it, it does not co comment on pending litigation. But I'm going to keep an eye on this case as it moves through the system and come back and let you know the results. So there you have it. Uh, if you like this show, please hit like, please share, please subscribe to the channel, please uh, tell your friends about it. If you have a question that you want me to answer or an, or an issue that you want me to discuss online, you can submit that to me via email uh, at jclark at theclarklawfirm.com or you can submit it to me on Facebook Messenger where I'm John D. Clark. Again, this is J. Clark Law of the Channel.